What's up? Hey. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for taking some time today. Yeah, I'm excited. We're going to play, of course. All right. Okay, but we're going to play Irish. I, I didn't even get to warm up. Oh, I'm good. I didn't warm up. Yes, you did. I you was in here. sweat I... going before I got here. <laughs> uh, this is going to be trouble. What have you had to do differently this year that you might not have been expecting to do? What have you had to really focus on individually to change your game? I had to be unselfish. And I'm not saying I was used to be selfish, uh -huh. but I had to think about others. So okay. I feel like sometimes when I was on the wing, I was kind of more of, all right, what, what do I do? I'm going to shoot, I'm going to score, I'm going to cut. I feel like as a point guard, what I've noticed is that I need to think of what should I run? Who has a mismatch? I wasn't even thinking any of that last year. Yeah. Who has a mismatch? <laughs> Me, like I didn't even think of it. So how do you recognize throughout the game when somebody else needs a shot? You know, sometimes you need a play run for you. Sometimes yeah. you just need an easy basket as a wing. And usually like if I get it in transition or I get a rebound, I always throw it up to Enrique or mm -hmm. Jackie. Just cause like as a wing, you, you, wanna, you want them to throw it up to you. Yeah. You have a chance to score. Sheesh. <laughs> nope. You moved in like six inches. <laughs> I moved in. Uh, I got. I need every advantage I can get. Are you okay. kidding? Okay. Straight away. Wow. There we go. I want to talk Tennessee a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Nothing coming easy for the Irish. All Lady Balls leading by 22. What's the mindset when you're down? that much in the first half against a team that good. I mean, there's still 30 minutes left, but we're pretty calm people. And I said, like, we're not going to let this happen. This is not happening. Notre Dame's only lost twice in their last 88 home games. They've won 17 in a row, and they've come back from down 23. They tried to pass you off right here. Yeah, so now I'm running the L cut. Normally you'd stop like right here just because we're going to throw it to the mid post and throw right. it here. So I'm looking in here. But then I was like, oh wait, they're not looking at they, me. They, they, they didn't so notice then you, I right? I just came here. So then you're here. And then... Splash it. It's Mabry for the lead. Go ball! When you make a shot like that, what does that feel like? As a shooter, like... Um, you know when the gym's gonna explode. And like, I knew that if I made that shot, they were gonna go crazy. <laughs> An Irish comeback for the ages, from down 23 to 17 and two on the year. If you watch the three that Arike hits, immediately you come running up and you're the one that's most excited about the three. Yeah. And if you see the three that you hit at the end of the game, the person that's jumping up and down the most is Arike. What's your relationship like with her? Well, we're best friends. And just like, we like take pride in like beating people yeah. and like being better than people and, and wanting to dominate people that are our age or like better or her known as better than us. I knew she was gonna make that shot before they even passed it to her. Like, are you running back like this yeah, when she puts I, it up? I didn't even look. <laughs> I was running back already. 30 feet, right? Something like that. Well, are you shooting that? Is that lefty? Yeah. This could actually be an issue. Okay. <laughs> That's IRI, right? IRI. What is it like growing up in a house where everybody plays basketball? My dad used to play, and like it would always be me and my dad versus Roy and Michaela, uh -huh. and like I would really want to win. I'd be like, Dad, you're so bad. Like, <laughs> why are you so bad? Like, Dad will like, hold you back sometimes. Yeah, but like, actually, I was the bad one. <laughs> now that I think about it. Bunch of 18 footers. I think I got them. Oh! Uh, ho, ho, I R I S. Muffet. So, she went in the Hall of Fame this past year. Playing for a Hall of Famer while they're in the Hall of Fame is pretty unique. But just in general, like, what has it been like to play with her? It's an honor to play for someone that is in the Hall of Fame for coaches. Like, say you play bad one game or something, like, yeah. she's always like, oh, it's next game. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna have 30 next game. I think she has a lot more trust in me than she used to now that I'm at the point. Yeah. And, like, she was a point guard, so sometimes I try to look at her like, what would you do? <laughs> oh. That's trouble. Okay. That's broke. You bobbled it. Okay. Game. <sighs> You feel like you can make half court? Oh. Maybe. That's the one. 
Thanks for catching up with us, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. The, the three celebrations in basketball in the last like five years have gotten out of control. Yeah, I you know. People like playing really guitar, like, <laughs> like, bow and arrow. Yes. I always thought like he had a big three. Okay, you hit the three. Then you just say, call me. Uh, you look at the person you just splashed, like, call me. That's what I would do. But <laughs> you might get in trouble there.